So how you can create these kind of realistic ripples using the blender now you can see how cool it is looking by the way and that is super 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 realistic so in this video i'm going to talk about how we can create these kind of realistic ripples using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial <music> So in this video, uh, what I did exactly, if I'll just show you, here you can see guys, if I'll show you, you will think I just created all those lipper with the help of the mesh, but it is not true. I just apply after that, but now how I just created these ripples, that's very easy trick basically, I'll show you. So first of all, what I will do basically, I'm just gonna delete this, okay, make sure, just remember. Uh, I'm just gonna give this material name as a glass sorry water yeah so we will like remember further okay then I'm just gonna like add one plane here you can see something like that then I'm just gonna do control 2 and this is a shortcut key of the subdivision surface modifier basically and now here you can see it is looking little bit circle then I'm just gonna apply it so it is look something like that that's awesome there is no issue then I'm just gonna subdivide it multiple times so I'm just gonna do right click and subdivide 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 I think that much subdivision is look nice to me right now and I'm just gonna scale it little bit something like that and I'm just gonna place it under this rose petals yeah it's look awesome by the way now here you can see it is look awesome so first of all we'll just apply the scale because it is necessary and after that I'm just gonna hide everything apart from this circle and we'll again do one more time subdivide i think we don't need it we will just keep it in okay it is look awesome now what i will do basically i'll just add one more object like it can be anything so i'll just add this uh q uh, sorry cylinder and i'll just make this surface a little bit smoothy like something like that okay that's look awesome okay apart from that you don't need to do anything just make sure it should be center of this what we can say uh plane all right so now i'm just gonna place it into the center so for that what i will do i will just do shift s cursor to select it and i'm gonna select this one shift s selection to cursor and keep offset it is exactly center of this circle then i'm just to right click and auto smooth okay after that i'll just go to my physics sections and i'll just add the dynamic paint Okay, and after that I'll just do type keep as a canvas and I'll just change the surface type as a wave and then I'm just gonna again again select this one and then I'll just again add the dynamic paint and right now I will just change the dynamic paint type as a brush and I'll just do add brush apart from that you don't need to do anything it is good to go now here you can see if i'll just play the animation right now you can't able to see anything but 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 what we have to do it for this so i'll just grab this okay but before grabbing this make sure your timeline should be like movable like it should be play i'm just gonna hit the space bar for playing the timeline and then i'm just gonna slowly move this down now here you can see these ripples are looking awesome just keep it here okay these looking awesome wow nice okay and we can also create the animation like what kind of animation like I will, i'll show you what i will do basically i'll just add a little bit animation into this object so like that animation will be i'm just gonna move it a little bit down okay i'll just use the auto key okay then i'm just gonna move it a little bit up again i'll just do a little bit down again i'll just do a little bit up all right animation is fine now here you can see it will show the ripples if we need a more ripples we can do two things basically first we can just fast the animation so we'll get a more ripples like here you can see and if we are not satisfied with the ripples then what we will do we'll just like 
increase the what we can say uh, dampening little bit and uh, the time step scale as well now here you can see it is look awesome now what i will do i will not prefer the animation right now i'll just do manually because it is giving good result manual now here you can see yeah i'm happy with the results okay now i'll just add the one subdivision surface modifier so we'll get a more realistic and very prominent uh, what we can say ripples now let's do it again now here you can see guys we have a perfect ripples here now i'm just gonna right click and do convert to the mesh just delete this one let's do alt edge and then i'll just switch into my material preview and i'll just add the same material which is i have deleted that time that name is uh, water yes water and here we go now here you can see we have a realistic repulse here i think just wait a second see we have a realistic repulse here which is look awesome by the way there we go so that's how you can create a realistic ripples using the dynamic paints so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new today so if you did so make sure you just subscribe my channel and like this video and share this video as much as you can share it so till then bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all